Hello everyone, today we are going to be doing the KY, well I already did it, I'm showcasing it. I'm going to be showcasing the KY Dolby Thunder Overloader. So here we have the bridge. It's, uh, we made sure it's mathematically correct, so it's 58 feet per block. So I'm like a giant right now. And, um, so it's 58 feet per block regularly. And, uh, we have a bunch of this, uh, sparkles in the water just because, and the water lit up because we wanted to make it look cool like it did in the regular pictures. And if you're wondering how I did the water, Basically, you know how oops, we made automatic fireworks like I just accidentally showed there? You know how they have that little white trail right there? Not the firework, but the little white trail right here? They have, basically, it just keeps firing the white trail and then actually explode. So, we are doing that. And what we are mainly doing... Was we both did the architecture on the bridge. I did a bunch of the detailing. Well, me and Sophia both did the detailing and I did the redstone. So we both compromised a lot on this. We both worked together a lot on this. And we both did a lot on this project. Hello, I'm Sophia. And as you know, our project is Thunder Over Lovo. So, right here, we have the hill where people normally sit on or lay on to watch the fireworks during thunder. Right here, we have just a normal boat that I included. And over here, I have the Bell of Lobo. The reason I included the Bell of Lobo is because it's a big part of Louisville's history. And it's always been at Louisville... And it's always been a thunder, and it's just something that's really cool to include that really plays a part in the history of Lowell. So once you go up this hill, you see the carpets, the rugs, the blankets that people lay on to watch the fireworks. And over here you have the RVs. And I included this because people normally come and spend the night in campers or in RVs. And this is just a cool way to experience the fireworks while also spending the night. 